Recently, I visited a very holy place of Rome, the place where the patriarchs are known to rest, but you can't visit without at least thinking what happened there, the deaths that happened there. The ending of 69 Jews on August 24th, 1929, and in 1994, when over 29 people were ended, 125 wounded by a man who was supposed to be protecting them, a man by the name of Baruch Goldstein. What did he do? Who was he? And why did he do what he did? Slow Nash explains. This door, now it's security, is locked. But apparently in that time period, it was like open. And he just came from the Jewish area over here, went in over there because he was from Kiryat Arba, very close here. And he saw terrible uh, things that the Arabs did to his family, I understand, and to, to uh, the people there in Kiryat Arba. And uh, this is like a Nakama. Um, he did this. On February 25th, 1994, on Perm, he entered the cave of the patriarchs wearing an Israeli uniform. It's said that he threw a grenade and then proceeded to shoot worshippers while they were in the middle of their prayer. And in the end, he did succeed in ending 29 people, including himself, and he injured 125 people. Ultimately, after this, it was a large repercussion. The entire area was shut down two weeks, and then there was Intifada that followed that, and also that was when the bombing started that was the first time that the, after this was the first time there were suicide bombings in israel to my knowledge although before that there were a great great many terrorist attacks nothing like the bombings that we saw after born benjamin carl goldstein later changing the name to baruch come on december 9th 1956 in brooklyn new york to orthodox jewish family he attended many yeshivas these are jewish religious schools ultimately going to yeshiva university receiving a medical degree he did ultimately immigrate to israel in 1983 he served as a physician in the idf reservist he lived in Kiribat arba to his emergency doctor he married a woman miriam that had four children and he seemed to have a good life, seemed to be well settled, but out of nowhere, there was this attack that he committed. Why did he do it? We still don't know. I think everyone agrees that mass murder of people while they're praying is a horrible thing to do. I think the lesson to learn from this is that all of us have a dark part inside of us. We can lose control. We can give in to anger and fear and hate. And we have to remember that the second that we think that we're invulnerable, that none of us can do evil acts, is the time that we're in the most danger.